Oh, that's in tune. Apparently. Hey guys, and welcome to this week's video. This week I thought I'd uh, talk about music, simply because last week on my video I actually played a bit. Not a lot, just a small, small, small bit. And I want to explain why I left it so short. And that's because, although I do play music, I'm not very confident in it. I've played music for a few years and I just thought I'd explain to you my story of what I play and how I play and what I do. first CD that I owned, in fact, was Diana Ross and the Supremes. It's probably a bit unusual, but that is my auntie that got me into music and she's probably the original reason why I actually like it. Yeah, I still appreciate that album, it's not really what I listen to now, but... I still appreciate it. And then I was in school and I was very easily influenced. And then one day we had the option to learn an instrument and it wasn't violin or anything like that. It was the guitar. For some reason I jumped at it and I really wanted to play guitar. And I'm really glad that I did. My first guitar was a three quarters classical guitar and that's what my great grandmother got me. I've still got that guitar. And although it's a bit small for me now, I can still play it. I never got rid of it, of course, and I absolutely loved playing guitar. It was actually where I learnt that I was actually good at something. I stuck to it through the whole of primary school, and I was really good at it. And I used to play uh, once or twice a week. It used to be a Thursday and a Monday, and I absolutely loved playing. And I had a really weird teacher as well, and she was into things like Jimi Hendrix... Uh, she played loads of songs and it rubbed off on me a bit. This was the stage where I started to like a different band and a very influential band in my life and one that I'll uh, probably never drop the love of and I think that everyone else has a bit of love for. That was ABBA. This was my 70s obsession with music and I had an obsession over ABBA. And when I mean an obsession, well, I pretty much have all their albums, and I'll never get rid of them. It was my first real appreciation of music. And those songs, those songs are still stuck with me, and it wasn't like the famous Mamma Mia and that, it was all the other songs as well. And it was also the first time that I properly enjoyed Eurovision. And this was also the time where I was really debating whether to learn piano. I also took a different step. People are going to be shocked at this, but... When I was in year five and six, I actually joined the school choir. And it was something else that I was good at, and I could sing. Uh, at this point, I actually went on to have private guitar and piano lessons because I was doing exceedingly well. And then suddenly that came to an end because it was the end of primary school. This was where I also brought my acoustic guitar, which I have now. This is my very out of tune guitar and it's very much out of tune because I've not played it that would be a G chord if it was in tune and that would be an E minor like my grandmother, my great grandmother got me my classical guitar this one is weirdly named after my grandfather, Teofel <coughs> So it became the end of my guitar lessons at primary school and I went to high school. I've not covered a video on high school yet. I hated secondary school. I kept singing, got bullied for it. I played guitar, I played piano. People didn't like it, I got bullied for it. But not only that, my teachers wouldn't let me play either. My music lessons were, were you know, timetabled lessons like that everyone had to do. They were just DOS lessons. And I really wanted to learn music and play. And when I did used to play, I just used to get people hating me. I think it's because they were jealous, actually. But they just used to hate it. And in fact, it was a, a really dark time in my life, high school was. 
I kind of got into more and more rock music. And I'll never regret that. But that's where this all stems off from. I even uh, actually recorded a CD, which is crap. And I've still got that CD, even though it was really bad. However, my music teacher thought I was good enough, and I actually played in a couple of school concerts. I played things like The Winner Takes It All. The loser stands in small, despite the victory, that's our destiny. Whoops. And I used to play in assemblies as well. I did things like Silent Night. I used to... I didn't used to sing, though. Because singing was always the one that I was very self-conscious about. And then the bullying got worse. I actually even stopped playing. So, I joined my new school and I made loads of new music friends. I, some of them were my friends anyway, but finally I could enjoy music again. A lot of them were in bands and things like that. I got into YouTube even more. And I definitely got into vlogging videos and that, or else I wouldn't have been here. But a lot of YouTubers that I am into do music as well, and they've done covers and things. So I had a new keyboard. I picked up my old guitar. Although, with the keyboard, I was very, very rusty. And I'm still not really up to scratch, but I'm slowly getting there. And I even started singing again, and my singing has improved. My guitar skills have improved. My keyboard were probably a bit worse than they used to be. I in fact actually recorded some stuff that I wanted to put on this channel and I've never put it on because I'm still slightly too worried. Maybe when I get some confidence I'll be able to present that to you. Actually music means a lot to me and has made me the person that I am. And for a change I'm not wearing a band shirt. Music is probably the best thing that's ever existed to me. Anyway. I hope you've enjoyed today's video, and I know it's been quite personal. If you want to subscribe, click this nice button here. My Snapchat is above. You see me all the time, and I do sing on Snapchat. If you do want to hear me sing, you've got to get my Snapchat. Recommend subscribing, because you get to see more of these videos, and maybe you get to see a cover one day as well. If you want the last video that's at the end, make sure you go and uh, like this video as well, because that really does help. It'll boost my confidence to make a cover. For you or put a cover on for you if you do like that and leave a comment below see what you think and i'll uh, see you next week guys bye